Hello everyone, this is Ranger Rob and welcome to the channel. You are at the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. And uh, today is part two and uh, I'll have some other things in between that because uh, uh, our harvest rate is still running. I, I did a show yesterday. Uh, we're drying some uh, eggs. For those of you who know that we, we get like 10 eggs a day. So uh, we've been freezing them, but we want to freeze dry them and turn them into powder. And uh, anyway, so I thought I'd come in here real quick. Let you see that I'm uh, in a drying mode. Uh, we put these in last night. Uh, everything seems to be running well. But what I want to point out is I have the Premier Pump, which is not what I ordered. I ordered the uh, Oilless. But I got to tell you, this thing, this pump is running right now. And it's pretty darn quiet. So that's quite amazing. So uh, anyhow, uh, I'm not going to unload this till my wife gets back from work because she's kind of excited about it too. And so I don't want to ruin the surprise when we uh, pull this out. And so, yeah, we're looking forward to try and see what our first dried eggs look like and our dried strawberries. And we'll do a taste test for you on the video. So uh, this video will come out later in the evening. Uh, normally we launch our videos in the morning. So, uh, yeah, lots of things going on today. Also, I have my electrician coming to add a 30 amp plug to the outside of our shop so we can power up our hydroponics in the greenhouse and some other hydroponics in the garden this year and so it's important I have that pump I also need a 50 amp pump uh, plug put in but this guy is costing me a fortune so I mean give our account <laughs> our bank account a little bit of a break before we finish that project because uh, I mean, every time he comes here, it's about 800 bucks. So, uh, yeah, it hurts. It hurts bad. It hurts real bad. So, anyway, guys, uh, stay tuned. Watch uh, as the video goes. We will show you what the dry... I mean, we're this is our first run. We, so, we're going to make mistakes. And we'll see how our dried eggs came out for the first time. Uh, because when we get them, we got to take them out of the uh, tray grind it up into a powder, put them in jars, and then vacuum seal them. And uh, guess what everybody's getting for Christmas? <laughs> Farm fresh eggs and powder. <laughs> so we're cheap. Okay. Anyway, guys, uh, let's move on. Uh, all right, guys. So, so, yeah, we are getting that plug in like I said I was doing. So this is my electrician. And this poor guy's got to walk around this messed up garage. But uh, yeah, this is where we're putting the 30 amp plug, which will allow us to power up our hydroponics in the future. So we're very happy to get that. And he's also working on getting a 50 amp plug put in at the end of the shop down there by the trailer. So we have something to plug our uh, fifth wheel in so we can run the air conditioners when we have guests. And, uh, we got a bit of music here, but I'll show you really quick here. This is where he's working from. And I can't stay in there because of the music. But, uh, yeah. So, also, I was going to let you know we got 10 eggs today. Chickens are earning their keep. Nice warm day is probably why they all laid. So, we're doing really good. Still waiting for the freeze dryer to finish up. So, this evening, we'll record that. And, uh... Maybe we'll get this video out by the evening. So yeah, nice, very nice day today. It's actually very comfortable out here. So really nice. Let me put these eggs away. Like I need more eggs. Well, it's getting kind of late at night and our harvest rate isn't quite done yet. But I thought I'd share with you that not only do we enjoy our front yard when we can when it's not freezing, but we love our Traeger. And it's kind of hard to see, but we are doing uh, chicken wings tonight, and I did have a flashlight, but I lost it. <laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, in 28 minutes, we'll be pulling up, uh, got some light on me here, we'll be pulling out the uh, harvest rate, and we'll be uh, getting ready to check it out and see how it came out. So we've got strawberries, and 
eggs coming up, so stay tuned. Okay guys, so it's it's time. So it actually took 30 hours to do our first batch here. But the process is complete, it says. So uh, we just gotta figure out what button to push. So the first thing we gotta do is open the drain valve to vent it. And that's exactly what she just did. And then I assume that the hose to drain it is not in water. Yeah. If it does, it'll suck it back up into the machine. Yeah, that would not be good. So we're pulling out these cold. After 30 hours, it's got to be dry. <laughs> we're hoping so. You can stack them crosswise over here if you want. Oh, we're not completely level. Actually, I've been told that the machine is intentionally tilted. Is it? Yep. Yeah, because this side is definitely thicker than that side. So she made an observation that we're not level, but uh, I actually saw some videos saying that they uh, <laughs> we got something funky going on here. Um, that these are tilted because for drainage purposes. So anyway, now we got a funky little thing here. It's all soft and crun crunchy. And then there's the strawberries. They're very light. <laughs> it's so weird. Look at that. It's like super light. Okay, I might have to accidentally taste this. Oh, let's taste that. It's like Lucky Charms, only tastes better. So the next step is we're going to find the best way to get these out and we're going to actually store everything in, in ball jars. I don't know if that's a ball jar. But, it is. Because um, <laughs> I think we're going to just munch on the uh, strawberries. So oh, we're just going to... So yeah, we're not going to seal them. We're vacuum seal. And then for the uh, eggs, we'll see how much room it takes in the ball jar we have over here. And... Uh, we might experiment this weekend and actually try them out and see how we like them. So what do you think of the taste? <laughs> Pretty darn good. <laughs> tart. Or tart. Tastes just like a strawberry, but it's like Lucky Charms. <laughs> what a nice little treat. So we put a Teflon mat down. Comes up super easy. Yeah, I can see why you would want the mat. Them. It's so light. One for the cup. So oft, <clears throat> oftentimes what they say is you, when you're ready to load these things, you should weigh them. And then when you dry them out, you, you take the difference of when they get so light, the difference of the weight will determine how much water you need to put back into it. So they're eight ounces and you put them in there and they're dry and there's only two ounces. It means that there's six ounces of water you got to add to whatever is in that tray. Typically is kind of a way to think about it. You have to do math, people. So with the eggs, we're going to use a spatula to get them off. They'll be all kind of like peanut butter. And then we're going to put them through our mixer here, turn them with the powder, and then put them in a big ball jar we have. I think that's a quart. And uh, hopefully it all fit. should. And uh, plus it'll give us an idea how many eggs we could actually fit in one ball jar. So uh, yeah, we'll do that in a minute here. So one more thing. Uh, Sherry just pulled this little Teflon thing we got from uh, uh, Retired at 40, his little store. She said it wiped clean super easy with soap and water. And it's ready to be used in. So super sweet, super easy to clean. So now let's break into this thing. I don't know if there's a wrong or right way, but... We're, sh sure. we're showing you because I'm sure everybody will have the same situation as we are. Oh, it just.
So this stuff feels like styrofoam. It's interesting the texture because it's almost like flaky. Yeah. So we just used a regular blender for the first one. Uh, it works, but I mean, you kind of, so it's so light and fluffy. It's kind of like you need to kind of work it. So we thought we'd try the little, my little bullet. And because these are so easily to be sh you know, shaken and all that stuff. So, I mean, why not? Let's see uh, if one's better than the other. So the, the Vitamix or the Nutra Bullet they call this thing uh, definitely works better. It's kind of designed to shake around a little bit. The drawback is you can't do as much, um, but it looks great. So lessons learned here, we uh, tried a regular blender and we used our Nutribullet, or the bullet they call it. And what we found is it's uh, easier to handle, easier to pour out, easier to put back into the jars. And uh, if you guys know, cleaning an, a, a bullet is a really super easy thing to do. They come apart really easy. You throw them in the dishwasher, you're done. Well, you got a few more parts when it comes to a regular blender. So, uh, thumbs up for us is the bullet. So that's one full tray of eggs, which is 12, a dozen eggs, 12 eggs. Wow. That's 12 eggs. So you got a total of 36 eggs in there. Yep. So it almost looks like you could fit another 24, I would say at least. So wow, you could get like 58 eggs in here. Four dozen eggs. Something like that? Four I don't know dozen I, to five dozen eggs? Yeah. Wow. So my understanding is... This is a half gallon jar. Oh, it's a half gallon. Um, my understanding, when we go to use this, it's almost a one-to-one -one ratio with our tablespoons. Mm -hmm. So one tablespoon equals about one egg. And then you add... Two tablespoons... Oh, to one? To two tablespoons of water is equivalent to one egg. Oh, okay. So two tablespoons for one egg... Two stable <laughs> tablespoons of water would uh, be enough to uh, to uh, do the trick. So this weekend, I think we'll try to uh, cook some of these out and, and uh, experiment with uh, um, rehydrating these. So they are very exciting. So cool. Tomorrow, bananas. So tomorrow, um, I don't know the answer to this, and I don't think I've found anything, but... With bananas, like when we used to dry bananas, um, we used to uh, put them in a, a lemon solution and sugar to keep them from browning. So I thought maybe we'd do two trays like that and two trays without the solution. Um, obviously the ones we do with the solution would probably be a little bit sweeter, 
and will we have any problems with the sugar on it so um, we'll do a little bit more homework but that's our next uh, goal is to make uh, banana chips so yeah <laughs> I gotta get some bananas tomorrow okay guys we're gonna finish this video up I just want to reconfirm with you we read it just to make sure two tablespoons of the powder equals one egg and then to uh, to uh, rehydrate it it will take two tablespoons of water and so this weekend we'll give that a try and then cook some up and see how we like them uh, in the meantime the strawberries are delicious <laughs> these would taste really good on cereal too so uh, anyway that that's the end of this video for now we got more to do in the future um, we got tons of things we want to try in the comments below if there's anything you want us to try in the future in our uh, uh, harvest our harvest right let us know and uh, we might give it a try uh, so anyway thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed that uh, we got a lot to learn every time we try something new we got to find a new kitchen tool find a new way to, uh, to store this stuff uh, Sherry is going to add a uh, oxygen oxygen what do you call those oxygen absorber absorber Absorbed. yeah and uh once you open these bags up, you take it out, you have to reseal the bag. Otherwise, you'll ruin the, the ones that are left over. So um, that was a lesson learned for us. We didn't know that, and so we uh, didn't seal the bag like we did on another bag. And so we got to throw a whole bunch out now. But the new ones here will do correctly. But it's important that you reseal the bag so the rest of the bags could be useful. So I guess it takes less than that, just a couple of minutes to an hour. And they're no good anymore if you don't seal that bag. So good information. Anyway, guys, have a great day. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. And please leave your comments below. Thanks, guys. Bye. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.